Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Band Advisor Rebirth for BGW 365. You joined us last time. We did yet another challenge. First time of asking. And uh, this time, it's Demo Man. It was Cat Got Your Turn last time. Uh, I believe number 11, you can't. Ooh, number 19 is locked. Let's so figure out what that is, how to unlock that. But Demo Man, for now, will do. Uh, but yeah, we did Cat Got Your Turn last time. Uh, oh, it's this one. This one's a fun one. Ish. Unlimited bombs, basically, but we've got the means to, you know, find someone like the Hollow. Hit the Hollow. The well, yeah, Hollow would be very easy as well. But someone like uh, Lil Haunt is pretty easy when you've got bombs. So get stuck on the bombs, including the little dudes. Quite a tricky first boss for the like first room we're going. Right, it's the end of Sloth. Let's just try and, you know, kill these little schmuck features as. Justice is not done because there's a troll bomb. Not good. And we do have boom, which is, uh, you know, we can plant those bombs and detonate them, uh, you know, on his own accord. So, that is another useful thing. Come on, man. Boom. Really? Not dead after one. So, what I'm looking for on this run, then? I'm looking for some, some form of damage upgrades. I'm gonna kill you, get some money. That key would be could be useful as to that spirit hat, so I'm gonna try and you know, do us due diligence once again. Blow up everything that we can to lots of spiders is not what I was looking for. Uh boom. Let's get him in there in that corner. There we go, big spider. Big fish little fish cardboard spider, or something like that. Big fish little fish cardboard box is the official I say official, but that's like the, the the one that's remembered. But really not dead. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get you over here. That was a nice shot, really. Uh, fairly easy room. But yeah, big fish, little fish, cardboard box. But I was trying to do like the big big spider, little spider. Blown up by bombs. I don't know. <laughs> so, trying to obtain as much money as we can. Obviously we will be checking for secret rooms, just in case there is a, a nice, luxurious a nine cents coming our way. Come on, spider. You're gonna die soon. Um, right, alright, let's carry on. Uh, we're definitely gonna be throwing bombs down in here. If you haven't guessed why, then you obviously don't play out by the visor, which, yeah, you might not. It's a fun game. In case you haven't heard of it, I don't know. But, uh, be careful we don't kill ourselves. Yeah, there could be a crawl space. That's the one reason I'm spending all this time doing all this. It seems like a bit of a, a bit tedious and a bit of a waste of time. But if there's a the fact that it's taking us ages is a bit of a pain, like. But um, if there was um, a crawl space or something, would have been laughing. That is a secret room, second of the second variety. So we need to find the other one, which I, I'm going to guess is about there. Yeah, money, tons of it as well. That will de most certainly make the shop viable. Can't wait to get all these challenge ones done. You might be wondering why. And reason being is because I'm, you know, I want to get item rooms in. It makes it more interesting. So, I think we pick up the piggy bank. We can pick up one more cent from somewhere. And ideally, not pageant boy. You know, if, it, if that shows its uh, bears its ugly head. It's not quite what we're looking for. But pin. That was a clutch dodge. So as you can see, the, the damage we actually do... Ow. Oh, well, there's your money. <laughs> that comes from Piggy Bank. I'm glad I didn't pick up that Spirit Heart now. As you can see, you know. Let's try and place a bomb, hopefully. Oh, I missed. Forgot. Let's place this down. Ah, knocked him into me. There we go. Let's use the bombs. Don't really need them, but it does more damage. Killed him, just. Right. So, pick up you, stem cells. We have got enough money now to pick up that spirit heart and have enough money for an arcade in the next floor. So, we'll pick you up. I could blow up that, uh... You know what, I might even have a go with it. Pick up the you. Have three goes with it. If it doesn't pay out, then I, I just blow it up. Got bombs galore, haven't we? So, three plays. 
I'm using a keyboard. Right, so we're going to blow it up instead. Sorry, you had the chance. Give us two cents back and two bombs, which, you know, in a, from an offensive perspective, like we've just used against Pim, could be, could be very, very useful. So, Cellar 2. Most likely the uh, Lil Haunt. Uh, well, the Haunt, I should say. Boom, that's you dead. Some more money. That uh, would have been very, very nice. Boom, that's one dead. Don't spawn some more, please. Thank you. Thank you. As Mr. Dialing Ping would say, thank you. you ha if you haven't watched Dialing Ping, if you can uh, see past the the language that he chooses, then you know is very very funny. The way he people is he, he calls himself the bully bully, and that is, there's nothing truer than that. He is literally the bully bully. He, if anyone starts bullying him because of his squeaky voice, basically he just tears them at a new asshole and absolutely destroys them in vocal terms. But yes, very good. Kill you, get a bomb in there. Boom! Boom! Yeah, that was nice. That felt that felt good. When something feels good, it, that felt good. Um, it's less so, especially with those spiders there. But there's nothing there. There's a battery which you can't really make any use of, and it's a widow of all of all creatures. Boom! We don't do tons of damage, do we? And it's pretty scary facing you. So I will to try and avoid. You know, taking dumb damage against these spiders. Ow. Ow, come on, jump on me. Come on, do it. Boom, dead. Yeah, eternal heart, that's a, that's a decent pickup. Definitely need. Let me look at that. I mean, that's the damage we're doing. There we go. Boom. We'll check out a shop, because we're nearly at the... Ooh, it's in file. <laughs> oh, yeah! So, I think... I think we take out lot. We definitely take Mum's knife. We're going to get a HP upgrade afterwards. Um, but I think we actually take... You know what? I think we take you. We take you just to be safe. I'm not going to bother with with headless baby, unfortunately. So that's a fantastic result at this early stage, and um, yeah, pretty much makes this a one run. We don't have the bombs that we had before, and the range of the knife isn't bad. This is the range of the knife, the knife. So what I'm looking for now on this run, besides to kill that spider, I'm looking for guppy items because we will literally tear through everyone. Like a hot knife through butter. How are you still alive, Dingle? Really? I thought my knife would have been no match. You'd have been no match for my knife. I actually get hit against Dingle. I'm not very happy about that. But we have. Ooh, this is a, a combination I've not seen before. Come on, man. Boom. Really? How hard are you? You've had been hit, you. There we go, another bomb for his trouble. So we are a little bit low on his HP, but we're still on the search for that shop. And there's an arcade, which I'm kind of glad I didn't pick up the, uh, the Eternal Heart, because most likely I'll end up having to use it. Uh, that felt decent. Any money? Come on, you got to give us some money. There's how many poops in here? Well, apparently he doesn't have to. He's saying, no, sorry, pal. Who made you the king that allows you to do whatever you want? So, the compass definitely will speed this up. So, that is definitely on my mind. Boom. Money. The golden key. Pretty useless in our current status. So, it looks like, yes, we are going to have to, unless we try and blow our way into a secret room. Who knows, this might be the, ki the penny here? No, nope. the penny doesn't indeed drop. Oh, we've already found a secret room. I'm an idiot. So yes, we are going to have to do this twice. Oh, or, or just once. So we are going to buy the compass. Is there any red hearts on it? Yes, there is. So we'll go probably invest in 
as invest our time in picking that up. Little baggies are alright, but it's only really good, I think, if you have PhD. So we'll head down here. There is pots there to be uh, had, but I think now we don't bother uh, investing this money because we are on cellar two. I think I believe it's only the second floor um, of every. Well, this yeah, you know, like you got caves two, etc. Cellar two. I think it's always the twos that. Um, uh, it's always the twos that have the arcades that you need five cents or more for. So down to the next floor. Mum's knife. Guppy's head. The dream is on. Might as well. Little flies galore. Little fly army of doom. Nice kill. And again. And again. A lot of the flies would be very good here, but we don't have it, so it doesn't matter. There we go. And finally. Die. Another half hat, should we need it? Not going to go in there just yet. You might be thinking, well, GW, you've got Mum's knife. Why on earth would you not go in there? You know? Surely you don't need any more deals of the devil. Well, the truth of the matter is, I do need more deals of the devil. And you might be saying, well, what could you possibly need? And I can tell you straight away that one of them straight away is the ability to fly. Uh, speed and range up. Mini mush. You know, it's decent. Kill you. Get some more flies. It's decent, don't get me wrong. It's the quickest room of all time. More flies, we might as well head in here. Fanny Pat would be an exceptional pickup. So I'm going to take the time to pick it up. And hopefully, we'll get some more sense to get uh, that bomb. So we'll, as we are at the minute, unless that pays out with a load of money, it doesn't. Uh, I still think we've got every chance of beating whoever this is very damn quickly. There we go. It was the easiest mum's, uh, sorry, mega fatty fight I've ever had. No deal with the devil. Bit disappointing, but never mind. So we need to try and get to five cents to get that that uh, spirit heart. It's definitely uh, massively in my plans for world domination. Uh, I would like to go in and check out, check out, check check out my melody. Uh, but I'd like to uh, check out that. Um, curse room, if at all possible. Kill you very quickly, and it's another key. Um, because we have two keys, and I think we've already been to the shop so we don't need any more keys, there's another scent. We will open this and get Goat Head, which guarantees us a deal with the devil, which I'm not sure if I will actually have a deal with the devil now. I'll have to check it out when I go back. So it could be some uh, health to trade away, perhaps. I might be able to get in to the curse room for free, looking at this, this current layout. I mean, that's a flat wall. That's a flat wall. One more wall to check before we're dead certain. And that's a flat wall. So that should be entrance to the curse room and the secret room. And all our money, all our money problems have disappeared. Unless it was counterfeit pe penny, of course. Which saying that I say it's disappeared, it hasn't really, is it? I'll place a bomb here. Well, it's a bit of a waste, but there could be some money. There is a little bit of money. Curse room contains troll bombs, so I'm glad I didn't waste any health for that. Not going to bother wasting a bomb for that one dude, uh, unless we, unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, we'll kill you. And you. Uh, really? You survived the shot from Mum's knife? So that's the end of the floor. Where could the second secret room be? That is a question. Um, hmm. Do I have nine bombs? I'm tempted to try and have a look and see if any of those mushrooms I've opened. in. However, right, I think the only logical place I can see, and it's not even available to us, it can't be there, could be here. No, in fact, I don't think it is. It's always at the end of somewhere. Maybe the end of here? Let's try here. <clears throat> nope. Well, I'm not going to sweat it too much. I was going to say it maybe at the side of the shop, so we are going to go in the shop actually before we go down. We're going to buy the spirit heart, uh, and we're going to head down to the next floor. Algie's rune in hand. And we're doing alright, and deal with the devil, of course, is actually open, and it gives us Krampus, which means he's not going to last very long, but a bit like me in bed. Oh, that's a bit of a poor joke. Makes me sound crap, but uh, 